Being an artist is one of the most intriguing things in life. As you see fans who loved and adored you switch and say your new music is trash. And then the new fans you gain from that tape call your next new thing trash. And it's a cycle of judgment and despair and despite and love turns to rage. Playboy Cardi, whole lot of red. Two, three years in the making. A tape suffering from many leaks, forcing the artist to change and progress and adapt and evolve. But the thing is, as fans, most of us just want our favorite tape recreated every time the artist drops. Don't forget 808 and Heartbreaks was hated and looked down upon and not appreciated until many years after. Don't forget that Jesus was considered blasphemous and a horrible project by Kanye until years after. Don't forget that those that push boundaries are often first rejected and hated. Remember when Lil Uzi first joined the game. Remember when XX Tentacion first joined the game. Hate comes first before love, before appreciation. Whole lot of red is the definition of artistry. Whether you love it or hate it, when you go into a museum and you see these paintings often so simplistic, sometimes so jarring and intriguing, other times they just look ugly and you're like, why is this so highly raised up, so highly tooted, so highly appreciated? I do not get it. We want Basquiat to remake the same painting over and over and over, remixing the very same painting. We want our favorite artists to keep within the style that we came into, appreciation, and never to step from that, forgetting that before we stepped in, they probably had another style before we appreciated them other people appreciated his the underground style before the fame and wanted him to stick to that but he progressed or she they progressed and kept going forward and kept creating and adapting and shifting the norm and not everything works damn it but an artist's job is to try and to create a mood a space a room a universe a vibe a zone That's a part of their inner selves. And people often fail to appreciate or conceive or understand. A whole lot of red is his blood spilled on the canvas, on every track, on every song. You can feel the passion in every line. You can feel the effort and attempt to be innovative and to create and mold and make something new. So how does one feel after spending three years creating several projects often leaked, often not right, not to the place where he feels you, his fan base will appreciate the true love and sound placed upon it. People always want to dislike and rage and join the vibes and waves. It is much harder to look back, sit back and really watch and see and notice the little details behind the scenes, the little details that create a contemporary project. You understand that these people place so much within their art and yes, it is out there for criticism, but it must be honest and it must be true and it must be both objective and subjective too. And the differentiation is very essential whole lot of red is not trash 
It has a lot of high quality songs, a lot of high quality ideas. Not everything is executed to perfection, of course, but so many songs in this bring something unique. Remember when Young Tug first came out and all the things that he did and everybody mocked him. Nobody can hear you, Young Tug. What are you speaking, Young Tug? What are you saying, Young Tug? Over time, we appreciate Young Tug and see that he's one of the most impactful artists in the past 10 years especially in hip-hop he's one of the most impactful artists alive right now we appreciate that what he has done and what he does is unique boundary bending and pushing but of course we gotta wait for harry styles to do it or try it before we call it art we have to wait for name an artist people are always quick to jump the gun and to attack and to break down and to assassinate creativity but labor to trust labor to give chance labor to appreciate iconic tell me slayer is not an absolute smasher tell me bino is not a smasher tell me kanye's rant is not a smasher You don't have to appreciate everything, but you have to understand the why, the how, and the who. Thank you. I got friends now. You ain't know, but I got friends now. I'm falling out with my friends now. 